Kathy Boffman is the director at the Adrian Ascht Rockefeller Foundation Resilience Centre at the Atlantic Council. She joins me here for more. Thanks for joining us, Kathy. Thank you. Now, Time Magazine's decision to name 16-year-old Greta Thunberg and put her face on the front of their magazine is a real statement, isn't it? What, what would you say is the media's role in helping to raise awareness around climate change? The role is to tell a story as it is and to reflect the science as it is. And she has helped that, Greta has helped the media do that. She's flipped a switch on in a room and shown what we all know to be true and fired up the youth of the world and they're demanding action. But so many say that they don't think it's true. There, there is a lot of resistance out there and Greta Thunberg has certainly roused a lot of anger in some what she would say are middle-aged men, white men uh, normally. What is it about her presence and what she stands for that has galvanised this global movement but also perhaps created an even bigger gap between those who are not non-believers versus those who are very active in the movement? I think it's her unflinching ability to tell the truth to power. The idea that she doesn't matter what the response is on the, on the other side. And that response from older uh, male world leaders, um, that's more about them than it is about her. I mean, she's as resolute as she can be. She tells the truth and that is her mission. And people have responded to that and the youth have responded to her ability to look people coldly in the eye and say, you are not doing your job. You are not handling the responsibility you have to address climate change. And the fact is that the world is burning. It's interesting, isn't it, that this is an age where people seem to think that they can argue with facts. And uh, this is a movement that, as you said, has gone global. It's, it's taken to the headlines in Australia, just as it is, has here in the US and over in Europe. But what does it take to get people more engaged, would you say? It's usually about people's own lives. That's what people care about. And most of the polls are showing that regardless of where you fall on the political spectrum, the awareness of and the belief in, not that science is something to be believed in, but the awareness of it is there and the uh, demand for action is also there. And so the public opinion in the US and around the world has changed. And there are very few countries that are debating the science anymore. But there's a lot of sort of, you know, proposals in the way in which people can help, not use plastic, various environmental acts. But what is it that Greta, do you think, is really calling for people to do to try and help create change? She's made people uncomfortable. She's asked people to go out of their comfort zone. And when children are demanding to miss school and to demand action from their leaders and go out of the comfort zone, it's pulling parents into the conversation. And so it's her courage to say, leave school on Fridays and fight for what you are deserving of. And that is action on climate change so that our future is not uh, so uh, marred by the things we see right now, as you said, the the Australian paper, the Sydney paper, with fire and smoke and the floods of Houston, the fires of California, and the droughts and the hurricanes, and so these things are are real, and she's calling attention to it in an unflinching way. All right, we'll leave it there for the time being. Thanks very much for your time, Kathy. Thanks for having me, Kathy Boffman. There for us.